Hello! You join me from Munich, Germany today. Currently, there is the IAA Mobility Show here. I've been invited out here by Leap Motor. And if you haven't heard about Leap Motor yet, I'm about to give you the full tour. Normally at this kind of show, you're out here to discover a new car, but it's rare that you're here to discover an entire new company. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So today we are discovering Leap Motor. So bear with me because we're at IAA and there's gonna be people all over the place for this video, but I'm gonna try and do my best to show you guys around the full range of Leap Motor. These guys are based out of China. They're already worth multiple billions. They launched their first production car in 2017. So, you know, it's still fairly recent. However, 2022 already celebrated their 100th, 100th, a little bit tricky to say, 100th thousandth. There you go, we got it, 100,000th delivery car. 70% of all components, so you can kind of see here, are all done in-house. It's really, really cool to see that a lot of it's all being done. So obviously in China, they have their own facilities and they're developing a lot of this all um, themselves based with electric cars. But we're gonna go through the full range one by one. So I'm just gonna run you through a bit of the history. In 2019, the S01 was the first model release. Then in 2020, the second model, which we're gonna check out after, the T03 right behind there was released. In 2021, the C11, which is here. You see what I mean? It's every year there's a new model. And then in 2022, the C01. And then now the C11 extended range, which we'll talk about because it's a really interesting system they've used for that. And at the end of this video, we're actually going to see the latest, a new release, which is currently hidden under a cover right there. That's going to be released in about 20 minutes. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. So that's the lineup. Let's now go and check them out all individually and in detail. Let's get up close and personal. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see it from my point of view and we're gonna start right here with the smallest car of the range, the T03. So this obviously aims at being a small city car. Look at it, it's kind of cool looking, kind of cute looking. You have the uh, Leap Motor logo right there. T03, now it is a five door. Despite the size, it has a range of 280 kilometers. So perfect for around town for all your kind of commutes. Uh, it's got 80 kilowatts of power actually as well. They've actually put a real emphasis on the safety as well because it is 68% high strength steel. So yeah, really strong, important if you're driving this around town as well. Now it's quite nice inside. So despite it being small kind of city car, it has all sorts of technology. It's even got a 42 inch sunroof right there, which is really nice. You can see there's actually plenty of space. If I show you in the back as well, it's actually really good space wise compared to what you'd think from looking at it from the outside. One quick thing you also have is these seats can be lowered at the press of one button. So everything's been made to make it really practical, really convenient. It's a 10 inch touchscreen up there and you have three different driving modes, which you don't often see in this level of car. So you can adapt it to your various driving. What I like a lot is just the technology that you have. So full digital dash, a touch screen right here. You got your shortcut buttons on the steering wheel. Um, it's a very simple interior, but it's all you need really. You got a charging point right there. There you go, a little bit of storage, sunroof and you're ready to go. But this is a really interesting alternative. If you're looking for a small city car, but you want five doors, you want four proper seats, and you want to be able to have all the technology on the interior, that is the T03. This is the start of the lineup. So from here, we're gonna move to this, the C11. As you can tell, this is much more of a beast. There's some people inside right now, so we might need to wait a little bit to get the interior shot. But look at the design. I love the rear lights. Uh, the way they've integrated the lighting on, on, on the rear here. There's the Leap Motor logo, and this is the C11. So now we're on a much more kind of SUV body. Cool details on the outside are, for example, the door handles will go in once you lock the car, once you're driving, so that helps with the aerodynamics of the car. Obviously, with an electric car, you want it to be as slippery as possible. So they've thought of, you know, where can we get rid of any kind of aerodynamic uh, blockage towards the air. So you want it to be able to just slide through the air, use as little power as possible to get through the air. You see you have cameras all over the place here to help you. Now this is fully electric, this one. So it's a fully electric SUV, but you have 650 kilometer range. 
which is pretty outrageous. It also, obviously, electric car is fairly quick on the power, so not 60 in four and a half seconds. I'll show you the interior as well. Range-wise, I was really impressed when I heard about that, but what really impressed me when I got here as well is the interior, the quality of the finishes on the interior. You have like buttons to open the doors. Look at this in here. Screens all over the place. You have your main digital dash. You have this huge touch screen in the middle which controls everything. So as you can tell, no other buttons around, no physical buttons, everything goes through the screen. And then you've even got a passenger display. This here, having that line of screens is awesome. They've really done well with that. You have a huge panoramic sunroof as well. The seats, the quality of all the, the finishes is really, really nice. I was really impressed when I got on the stand and saw this for the first time. I mean, you're getting basically my, my first reactions. So down here, you have a little bit of storage, you have some charging, this is your wireless charging point right here. You have your cup holders, a little bit of storage in here as well. We're discovering this all together. And then in the rear, obviously proper five-seater, um, and you even have your separate climate controls and heated seats for the rear passengers. And then a huge boot around back. But yeah, I mean, look at that, 650 kilometer range on a car of this type with an interior like this. Does it end there though? If that doesn't have enough range for you, sorry for the flickering of the lights, there's not much I can do there. You then have the C11 range extended vehicle. So this, what's really cool about this is so you, it's still driven by the electric powertrain, but it has another engine, a petrol powered engine, which is there basically just to recharge the battery, but gives you extra range. So it's still driven by the electric, but you have a total range, a combined range of 1,024 kilometers. 285 of pure electric range, but then you can move on to the combined range. Also, obviously inside, we can see a different spec here with this one. So here you have the dual tone, you have these nice finishes along here. And then inside, these screens again look awesome. So this is basically exactly the same interior, just in a different spec. So yeah, you can have it, I guess, full electric if you want it, but if you need that extra range and you're worried about not being able to go on long road trips or things like that because of the charging around you, then you have the option, I guess, of getting the extended range and still having pretty economical driving, but still having, yeah, the advantages of being able to go far. You have a few fun gadgets as well. Like you have a little, headphone charger, um, which is included in the car. So those are kind of the three models which have been available, like the T03 right there, available for, for sale in France. Now let's go see the C01, which looks pretty awesome. So as I'm making this video for you guys, it's all kicking off. There's about to be a press conference to show the new model, but just right before that, I want to show you, look at this, the C01. How cool does that look? Look at the logo on the back, it's all lit up like that, and it just looks awesome. So this is more of a saloon design. Still, obviously, you got your rear seats, full black interior on this one. Still got your heated rear seat and digital display to be able to control your, your air con and heating and everything back here. I'm gonna go around the other end to be able to get inside because there are obviously a lot of people around. Try my best to show you guys all of this, but it's not, not the easiest. I love the way this thing looks. So you still got the cameras all over, but look at that, the kind of lime green brake calipers, the black on black design and it just looks so cool. Round front with the lights that go all the way across, very recognizable, and obviously the rear like I showed you. Um, the interior still very much similar. That's no bad thing. It's a beautiful interior, but they've managed to keep the rear seating so that it's comfortable. So you have still a decent rear seating position. This actually used bat battery-free CTC technology which was launched by Leap Motors, which is a really cool system as well. One of right, the here we go, it's the press conference. The advanced automobile technology. Okay, so that was the press conference. It's still all kicking off big time over here. Try and find a way to see the new car. Here it is. This is the C10. So basically, they are elaborating the CTC technology, which I briefly touched upon on the last model, but it is effectively this, where the drivetrain and the chassis are all in one, rather than having a separate kind of battery pack. It's all actually literally built into the chassis of the car. 
So Leap Motor really obviously think of themselves as like a technology company as much as a um, you know, car production company. So evolving electric vehicles with their new technology, which is really exciting. So this is obviously a concept, there's no interior to it, of the C10, which is clearly uh, an SUV more, and it has new technology like inside, um, it uses Face ID or little fun gadgets like that. There you go, you can see the front of it from this angle. Look at that. Looks awesome, I love the front lights like that. A lot of people taking a lot of photos, but that is the C10. Gives you an idea of the design. Interior's obviously not finished, but see the big kind of camera around top there? Shows the amount of technology that's going onto this. There are cameras all over the place. All pretty cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go where there's a few less people and I'm just going to use footage that uh, I'll find uh, online afterwards because there are so many people around the car. But there you go, you have from the little city car to these big SUVs um, all using electric technology, it, the interesting way of having the extended range, having that dual motor kind of capacity, being able to pick which one you want and mainly, I mean, it's pretty nuts how there are are companies like this that you maybe haven't heard of yet that are so big? I mean, this was a startup, and then obviously it went public, uh, and then now you know they're growing and they're very much in Europe. And I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys around the current lineup that they have because yeah, discovering new things like this is always pretty uh, pretty exciting. So comment down below which one was your favorite. I mean, a huge thank you to Leap Motor for having me here, for inviting me out. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight as to what they are uh, they are working on, what they've launched and what is yet to come. There's going to be a bunch of new models within the next two years, I believe five. So yeah, it's a really exciting um, time for the, for the brand. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very different from my usual videos. Always exciting to, to discover new products. Subscribe if you aren't already, guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.